Hi everybody, it's day seven of Tis the Season Holidays Scrapping. It's Audrey and today my guest is the one, the only, Missy Wooden. Missy is very well known for her mixed media style. Um, I love her to death. We've been scrappy friends for a long time. Please go check out her page if you haven't already and you probably already are a subscriber because everybody in the world is. Okay. So I am doing a page today about our Christmas elves and we have two elves um, who if, if you're familiar with the elf on the shelf um, tradition we do elf on the shelf here well we have elves who um, grace us with their presence every December and I wanted to do a, f a fun page highlighting them so I am going to cut out the word elves from my silhouette and so I just went in typed it I am going through all my fonts you can see I have a bajillion that's because I love to look at pretty fonts and I just go to like defont.com and download them. And so I'm playing around with them. I want, my my first idea was to actually fill the letters with photos of the elves. So I was gonna cut them out and then back them with photos. And then I thought maybe I will just um, cut them out and put some pretty pattern paper behind them. So I use this font, it's called Wonderland. It's perfect, it's a very whimsical, you know, swirly, the L kind of reminds me of like a stocking with a little swirl on the tip. So super cute font. And I cut that out of this pattern paper. This background paper is from October afternoon. It's from one of their older Christmas lines. So I definitely am going to do some mixed media on this. So I'm leaving it right on my mat. I'm painting it over it on my mat. None of the paint actually comes off in the sticky part. Um, luckily, <laughs> there is some paint around the edges, but you know, no big deal because I don't cut anything on the edges. So um, and I can always scrape it off if I need to. Um, okay, so here comes my mixed media part. I am using, what am I using? Distressed ink, distressed oxide ink, let me say, in this peacock blue, I think it is. And I just love, this is my new favorite thing. I just got these um, distressed inks, the oxide inks, a couple weeks ago. And I swear I've been using them on every single page. I love, love them. And then I'm going to go in with some more bright colors. This is uh, Heidi Swap Color Shine in Citron. And I am using some patterns there. You can see I picked out on the right. This is a whole bunch of stuff for my stash. And this is old stash. Um, I think that crepe paper line, it's a crepe paper Christmas line from maybe 2008, 2009. So, I mean, that's old to me. It may not be old to some scrappers, but that's old to me. And I'm going for really busy, really fun patterns, you know, cutesy, whimsical, fun bright, whatever, um, because that's what our elves are to us. So I'm trying to capture that in the papers and stuff I choose. So while my mixed media is drawing, um, I have printed out five little photos of our guys from um, some shenanigans that they did last season, 2016. And I wanted to frame each one. My photos are printed at one and a half inches. And where did I go? I have no idea. Um, and so I, I kind of measured and I thought a two inch frame would be nice. So of course I didn't have any chipboard frames um, that are Christmas anyway. And I just decided to make my own. So I cut two inch squares and I'm just using my ruler and an X-Acto knife to cut out the inside one and a half inches. And look at that, it's perfect. It fits perfect. I can't believe it. I actually really can't believe it because you know, sometimes I just, um, Let's say I measure once and then cut once and it doesn't always work out correctly. Um, so I'm happy that this one actually worked out. My, my cuts are a little tiny wonky, but you don't even notice it in, in the end. So I'm gonna do that with each photo, glue those frames around. And now my mat is mostly dry, or my paper, the mat's dry, the paper is a little bit wet. And I'm gonna peel that off. It's kind of a new mat. I've been cutting things in the top left corner of it a lot, so that part is not as sticky, but the right side and the bottom are definitely a lot stickier because I haven't really cut much on there. And the the letters kind of got stuck in there when I um, when I painted over them, but they they gently I just gently pulled them and they came right off. So I love how that mixed media came out, and I really love that font. And I, I'm gonna save those other letters. Um, I don't know. I might do something else with them, I'm not sure. Um, so, time to back these with some pattern paper. So like I said, I picked out some pattern papers that I thought were fun and whimsical. And um, I tried to pick a combination of, you know, really busy patterns and then some patterns that were just, you know, tone on tone or, um, you know, the same shade of colors, like the green L and the kind of pink and red E. 
And then I'm laying out my photos and then I decide that I don't really like the first blue E. So I switch up a couple of these papers a little bit and I'm happy with this layout. And I, I change around, um, you'll notice when I flip it back over here, the papers that are behind the L and the second E are have white a white base to them. So now you can see it better. The L and the second E have kind of a white sticking out and the other ones are all like fully colored just about. So, um, and those are all kinds of paper. There's Crepe Paper, there's Bella Boulevard, there's American Crafts, there's Jelly Bean Soup. So lots of different papers here. Okay, so I wanted to do something with these frames. I thought about making that cute banner. That looks really cute. I actually really like that. But my original idea, oh, I'm outlining my letters here, by the way, in a black pen to make them stand out more. My original idea was to hang, and the reason I printed five photos was to hang an elf from each photo. So I decided to do that. Hang it. Did I just say hang an elf <laughs> from each photo? I did not mean to say hang an elf. I mean hang an elf photo from each letter. Oh goodness. Um, sometimes I talk too fast and my mouth goes faster than my brain. Um, I'm hanging an elf photo from a letter. That's what I'm doing. And I made little bows with twine and just tied bows with my fingers and I put them on with some um, what are they called? Sticky dots, glue dots, and I put a bow on top of each frame. I was going back and forth if I should put the bow on the frame or move the bow up and secure it from the, and put the bow on the letter. So I'll get, I'll come back to that in a minute. So my title is going to be Our Silly Elves, and I found these old Lily Bee stickers. There's a company I miss, Lily Bee. I used to love their patterns, and I loved these little letter stickers because they're great for putting in words and titles that like aren't the focus of the title, but you still obviously need that as part of the title. So, um, and I will hand write in the word our, so the page says our silly elves. Um, I felt that the little frames I made were really heavy on the red and I, I purposefully picked, you know, like candy cane looking patterns, red and white stripes, um, because I wanted to be fun, like I said. And so I just found these stickers from Bella Boulevard and they're photo frame stickers, photo corner stickers, and I just like the little pop of green that those added. So this page was a little difficult to embellish because I felt that it was already really cute. It's already very busy. Um, so I'm gonna keep the embellishments to a minimum. I really wanted some stockings. I don't know why, but I searched through my stash and found some stockings. And those were from um, the Hip Kit Club kit from November. And then I found um, these kind of wooden sticky brads or buttons. Um, those are also from the Hip Kit Club kit and a candy cane. And so I'm just going to place those around and play around with them a little bit. So at this point, I'm just putting my embellishments all over the page. And I am trying to create a visual, visual triangle in a way, but it, it's not really working. <laughs> the whole visual triangle thing does not work on this page. So you can see I played with moving my bows up to underneath the letters. And so I'm hemming and hawing about what to do. And then I thought, okay, I'm gonna leave my bow on the frames, but the, the, the ends of these pieces of twine, how am I gonna secure them to the letters? Like, what am I gonna do to make them look like they're attached to the letters? I don't just want little pieces of twine sticking up and having them kind of loose end and glued. I wanna look like they're hanging from the letters or are attached to the letters somehow. So that's my challenge right now. So I'm thinking about that while I'm adding on these bows. So I'm just using some glue dots and just taking these little twine bows and sticking them on the top of each frame. And then I'm gonna take the little um, piece of twine. Um, and so I thought, okay, I'll thread it through the letter and have it like hanging through the letter. And my the twine was way too thick to thread. Uh, I didn't have a needle big enough to hold the twine. I wasn't about to push it through with my fingers. I'm just like, forget that idea. I'm gonna do something else because I'm not gonna be able to thread, thread this twine through. So I decided to just have it hanging from the letter and so I'm going to start to put some um, glue dots on the straight piece, pieces of twine here and um, put them on the back of the frames and then make sure that this twine is straight hanging down from the bottom of each letter. And then I'm going to put some foam squares on the back of each of the frames to pop them off the page and give them a little dimension. And this foam, these are actually they're foam strips. And these are from Thermoweb. I usually use the craft foam, but I happen to be out of it at the moment. 
I only have like really tiny, tiny scrap pieces and I didn't feel like fooling around with it. And these ones, the, these strips from ThermoWeb are awesome because they, they're double-sided and they stick really well. So, um, and you can cut them to any size you need to, so bonus. Um, okay, so I get all of these stuck down. And then for the tips, I'm just gonna go back with a glue dot and for the end that's hanging from the letter, and I'm just gonna stick it to, um, stick the twine to the bottom of each letter with a glue dot. And then, let me get this done here. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So to kind of make it look like it's cohesive and attached to the letter, I thought that I could put a little um, enamel dot over the tip. So I'm gonna trim these pieces of twine down right to the bottom of the letter and then take enamel dots and cover up the top of the twine. So they kind of look like brads. They kind of look like they're hanging from brads, but I really like how that came out because it just saved me all that time from, you know, wrapping the thread to the letters. If I had cut the letters out of patterned paper and popped them off the page, which would have been cute, I could have wrapped the twine around the letters. That would have been adorable. But I cut out the background paper instead, so... It still works. There's lots of ways you can do it, and there's no wrong way, so, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so at this point, I felt, as I started putting embellishments back on, and then I decided to leave embellishments off of the letters because they were too busy already. Um, I had a lot going on, and I th felt that when I had embellishments up with the letters, it just made the whole page kind of crazy. Um, so to keep keep more of a balance. I'm going to heavily embellish the, not heavily, but compared to the letters, uh, embellish those, um, you know, with little tags and these wood brads and some die cuts. Um, and I'm going to embellish those more and kind of leave the letters plain. I'm going to put one little flower up there on the E and that's going to be, that's going to be about it for the, for the letters. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I'm trimming off my white borders on these die cuts because I don't like them. Don't, can't, can't deal with that. And I pop off these um, flowers and embellishments too, and then that's it. So I leave it pretty simple. Um, well, it's not, it wasn't really simple, but you know, in terms of embellishing and stuff. So I love how this came out. I really think this captures um, the feeling and mischievousness of our elves and their fun, just kind of whimsical, um, you know, shenanigans each holiday season. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this page. It's very different. Um, and be sure to go check out um, Missy's incredible stuff, I'm sure. And stay scrappy, friends, and I will see you tomorrow for day eight. Thanks so much for coming by today.